I thought I would try something a little different as I like to do on my site and on the web. Today, I'm gonna be answering a question from Jim from Iowa. Well, I made that up. I'm not really gonna disclose his identity, but he writes, hello, Tom. I was doing some career research involving technical writing and stumbled upon your website. I had a question about that sort of thing and you seem like a good person to be a good person to ask. To be frank, I have two main interests, writing and technology. I love to read and write, but I also love engineering, working with computers, etc. So, I guess at this point, one would say technical writing is the logical career choice. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that would satisfy my tech cravings. I realize that you've mentioned things along this line in your previous posts, but let me explain a little further. Let's say I get schooling in engineering and say English. Would I be able to be a technical writer who also had some extra privileges? And by that I mean helping with the design process, helping with whatever problem is trying to be solved or whatever item is trying to be created, etc. What do you think? Thanks, Jim. All right, Jim, this is an excellent question, and I'm really glad you sent it to me because I've been thinking about it for a couple of days. First, you ask, is technical writing a good choice for somebody who loves to read and write, but also loves technology and engineering? And I think, sure, you know, yeah, I think it's a good choice. I love to write, I love technology, and I'm a happy technical writer. At the same time, though, when you say I love to read and write, uh, is writing fiction? Is it creative? Because writing a technical manual is not really something that a lot of people love to do. You know, it's not, it's not like enjoyable writing. It's kind of, it's procedural. It's step by step. It's, it's a different type of writing. So just because you love to write, don't just throw yourself into a, a technical writing field. But if you like, if you like technology and engineering, and you enjoy, you know, communicating how to use those, and being clear and, and solving puzzles, in essence, then I think it is a good fit. Um, so you also you also wanted to know if technical writing would satisfy your technical craving, and here I think that. Definitely, there's a lot of room in the field of technical writing to to get into the tech part. I mean, you're not just opening up Microsoft Word and doing a step-by-step -step sort of uh, project, right? You, as a technical writer, you're in charge of designing and publishing your documents. So you can get into things like Adobe InDesign and layout and format and styles and make it look really professional. You can use an online help tool like Madcap Flare or some other authoring tool, author it, and completely style how the help the online help displays, the skin, the look, the feel, so you can you'll be mastering CSS, you'll be uh, working with HTML, XML. You can also get even more geeky, more tech, if you start learning XSLT and knowing how to transform um, DITA into different outputs or, or to style the outputs of these data, data type documents uh, and even making the DTD schemas, right, which is something even more uh, on the engineering side. So there's plenty of room to get technical in technical writing. But your questions seem to be more along the lines of design and engineering and could you help out in those areas? And I think definitely. In fact, most of the experts today will say that a technical writer needs to be a hybrid. This is something that Jack Molisani said. It's not good enough to just be a writer because writing, as, as uh, you may have heard in a previous podcast with Bogo, writing is something that people don't always value, right? You want to build your skill set. Um, now, I'm going to be frank, though. I've never seen a technical writer walk over to a developer station, sit down and say, hey, I know how to code this modal for you. Oh, I know how to get a workaround for this bug. Uh, at that point, if you know that much about development, 
you might as well be a developer because these guys at least where I work and where I've worked uh, they know what they're doing and you know you'd really have to know your your stuff if you were gonna go uh, solve a problem that they have but and the same goes with design I mean sure I can make a website I can change things on a website but could I design the UI for an application that's a that's a totally uh, another level that I'm not even near um, however even though you don't wear these these hats of designer and developer you can help solve problems you can you can help guide them to a better user interface to a better application and a better user experience and the best way in my opinion to do that is to get involved early in your project meetings now you're obviously still in school if you're trying to decide what to major in but whenever you get in your workplace and you get your job as a, a writer a technical writer your role is going to be somewhat fuzzy people may hire you to write a manual and and they don't really think anything else about what you're supposed to do but if you want to move beyond that you need to insert yourself in meetings early on uh, in the project meetings where they're designing and, and making decisions about prototypes usually designers create a prototype uh, based on project manager or business analyst gathered requirements about what the users want and need and then it's your well the team's job to try to figure out if if it's a good design uh, if it's solving all the problems and as you're in these meetings what you can do is solve the problems that crop up because inevitably there'll be disagreement discussion is this really the best way couldn't we make this simpler uh, this is a poor looking interface or um, man this is a convoluted process but rather than just sit there and and complain or be negative your challenge is to solve the problem and if you can do that you will provide infinite value and as a technical writer you may often do training or come into contact with users and gather feedback whether from metrics that you're you're viewing on with hits on the help or calls or whatever you can take that user feedback and use it to make better informed decisions so you're not just somebody who's shooting from the hips and saying hey let's move this here let's move that there you could actually say well this is what all the users say they can't find this button or they always have questions about this process this is what I suggest we do why don't we take this and do that and move this here and remove that so in that sense yeah you you totally have the opportunity to help out in the, the creation and, and create a better uh, software product whatever it is that you're doing so Jim I hope this was helpful and if you if you have questions uh, comments feel free to add them below this post if anybody else has questions feel free to submit them this was somewhat of an experiment so uh, let me know if you enjoyed this little video cast thanks